Hello boys and girls, I am back and today's episode on bananas is going to be really interesting because I'm going to explain something or about something that I did for the very first time and I'm talking about a collaboration that I did in a different language with a band that I used to go to the shows to see when I was 15, 16, 17 years old I don't even remember anymore. So yes, I'm talking about the collaboration with Another Kind and Black Side. Enjoy! I remember when I was somewhere around 16 years old, uh, maybe even before that, I started hanging out with a lot of metalheads and alternative people uh, in my country and one of the things we liked to do was to go to local shows and at that time we used to have two uh, clubs in Kishno, Moldova and those clubs were alternative uh, bars and they had um, stages for the bands to perform. Sometimes certain bands from closer countries would come perform there. Very, very rare we had anybody bigger uh, coming from far away to play in our country because it's such a small, small country. Yeah, those clubs were Yellow Submarine and Black Elephant. Now, Black Elephant was more like a bar, uh, smaller, underground, older too. A lot of bands went through those stages. Oh yeah, a lot. Everybody started there uh, for sure, uh, at least kids my age. Uh, now Yellow Submarine, however, was a little bit different. It was such a cool hangout place. It had a huge stage and the whole sitting inside was um, placed almost like an a, a arena. Uh, all the seats were like going up on stairs. So the sound was really good, the, the um, lights were good. At least that's what it seemed when I was young, you know? It seemed so awesome, high level professional type of music type of stuff. Now, one of the bands that I started um, definitely visiting their shows was Black Side. Now at the time I didn't really know anybody from the band. Um, I only knew a couple of alternative kids and some musicians too. Uh, so, you know, they were all going, so I was going. And I remember really, really liking that those guys that were super young, around my age and maybe a little bit older and they were just so hungry for music and so into the music and believing in themselves so much like a good very good cocktail between sepultura um between nirvana and pantera um a little bit of corn a good cocktail of those bands that's what created Black Side. At least that's what I used to think when I was young and um, and listening to their music and, and watching them play. That was the only way to listen to their music because they were uh, beginners and there was no recorded music from Black Side at all. Little by little, uh, you know, every musician kind of know the other musician and little by little we became friends, believe it or not, and we started hanging out more and we would just never, never skip uh, Black Side shows anymore until they played, basically. Now, there are some footages um, from like some live shows of this band online However, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's the only material, the only music we can find from Black Side. Now this band is very special because the guitar player for Black Side is now the guitar player for Infected Rain. And I'm talking about Vidic. Yes, that was his first band, I believe, and uh, he was in that band for years. Um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna uh, tell you all the story about 
how everything started, but he did mention a couple of things about Black Side in one of the episodes um, here on Bananas, actually a party time excellent I had with him. So go check that out, links are gonna be popping somewhere here. <laughs> well, you know, it's just so, so awesome that I ended up singing for a band where this amazing musician is in. Now, when the, with the time passing and all, um, that was all history. However, uh, Vidic created another project called Another Kind. And with Another Kind, he always wanted to collaborate with the different artists, different musicians, um, of all sorts of different genres. But one of the things that he wanted to do right away, I remember him mentioning, was to resurrect a song or maybe a couple of songs of Black Side. So yeah, I got the honors. I feel super, super honored, honestly, because it's part of my history too. It's part of how I started loving live shows, started loving live music, and um, all those kids from Black Side, they are the reason that I started listening to so much good music as well because we were close friends and sharing music and sharing experiences like that. So that is incredible. It's part of my history, so I am insanely grateful that I got this opportunity to be part of this cover song, if you want to call it that way. So Vernyomse is a song in Russian written by uh, the vocalist uh, Ido from Blackside, which is actually the best friend of Vidic. And he is in the music video, he is actually part of the song as well. However, it was super challenging when it came to words and the lyrics themselves. Because it's been so many years and so much footage uh, just disappeared and got lost, last in time, um, he had to really sit down and rewrite those lyrics and remember them and go by all those videos and just try to understand what he was singing about. It's been a while, it really is. And yes, thank you Ido for uh, trusting my vocal skills and letting me do that. Uh, this, my friends, is the first song that I sang in Russian. And yes, I know, I know a lot of you guys, um, you've been asking and you've been waiting for me to write in a different language, especially Russian, and I felt a little bit under pressure, I won't be lying, because I felt like this is what people expect of me, uh, so that's why I never did, although I do write in Russian and I did actually this is how I started writing lyrics in Russian but I just never I was never brave enough and never ready to do my own stuff so we started with this cover Vernyomsa is really great because it is not just the very first song that I recorded in Russian but also it is a very authentic uh, song uh, with very deep lyrics, and I think they are very perfectly fitting in the world we live in right now, and in the situation we ended up living, all of us as a nation, with the pandemic, with the, um, you know, all the catastrophes and riots and everything that's happening in the world at the moment, just creates this new, um, incredibly new actually, new even for our parents and our, our grandparents probably, era and something that we need to figure it out from the start and we need to figure it out what to do. Um, but however, we have to not forget to be ourselves, not forget to stay true, not forget to stay humane. Uh, so I think the lyrics for Vyrnyomse, which we will try to translate for you later, uh, or maybe you can do that for us. Um, yes, it is just the perfect song for this perfect 
or not so perfect world that we live in. So ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Vyrnyomse with its music video and that includes some footage from our childhood and not only in, it includes footage from the recording of this song as well, from me playing with my dog. <laughs> um, yes, it's, it's a very emotional song and it's a very emotional um, release for another kind, for the guys from Black Side and for me personally because of the history it has and because it's the very first song that I performed sang in Russian. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it and if you do don't forget to subscribe to Another Kind's YouTube channel, to Another Kind's Patreon channel, don't forget to support the bands that you love and of course don't forget to click the little bell for notifications to share this video and to just be as loving as you are. Don't forget about that. Thank you so much for watching. This is Bananas. Don't forget to smile. It's getting